Good evening, everyone. This is Alex Cartwright with Laughing Life Healing, and it is Wednesday evening, time for another live meditation moment. So, as usual, going to spend the first five minutes uh, letting people have a chance to get signed on before we start the meditation. We're going to start out with a little TNA tips and announcements for those of you with a dirty mind. Hi, Michelle. So, um, tonight, tonight's meditation uh, was inspired by Jen Sincaro, author of the You Are a Badass books. Um, this is the first one, You Are a Badass, and she just um, had her second one come out in paperback. It's called uh, You Are a Badass at Making Money. And so I went to her book signing on Monday, and because uh, the the money book is kind of the one she's really actively promoting right now, um, she was talking a lot about money and the energy around money and what a broken relationship a lot of us have with money. Like, we want it, but we, we think it's bad to want it. Like, oh no, it's dirty. If we, if we have enough money to survive, then we're going to become evil people, which just isn't true. Uh, we don't need to have this, uh, this constant struggle with, I want you, but I can't have you with money. Uh, we are totally allowed to have rich, abundant lives that will not make us terrible people. You know, there are, there are lots of great people out there who have tons of money and are using it to make the world a better place. And we need, we need more really good, self-aware, awesome people to be rich and do great things for this planet. So we really need to work on this whole issue of hating money. Hi guys. Hi Alicia. Hi Elizabeth. Sorry if I missed anybody. Hi Connie. Um, so, <clears throat> so after going to this book signing, um, and listening to her talking about how she changed, uh, her relationship with money, uh, she had a mantra she used. It's a pretty common one and I'm going to use it in the meditation tonight. Uh, you won't be needing to do any chanting, but we're going to be focusing on the phrase, uh, money flows to me freely and easily. And the, the point of doing a meditation like this is we're going to be working on clearing out our limiting beliefs about money. We're going to work on basically um, energetically speaking, your relationship with money has an energetic effect on you. And so if you have a bad relationship with money, it, it gets stuck. That energy can't move. Um, and that brings your overall vibration down. So when we help clear that stuck energy and heal your relationship with money, that allows that energy to move up and out and that clears up space so that abundance can flow into your life. So I hope all of that makes sense from an energetic standpoint. I think this is going to be a really fun meditation for you guys. Uh, very, very, very healing. Make sure that after the meditation you drink at least one glass of water. Um, and yeah. You may, you may find some stuff coming up in the next couple days after this meditation surrounding money. And I just want you to remind yourself over and over and over that it's okay to have money. It's, it's a good thing to be able to take care of yourself and take care of things that you care about. So, money love. Tonight, it's all about the money love. This is not... I, I know it's so it's so hard to break the the mental conditioning. I still I have a really hard time not thinking of this as dirty, but it's a process. You know, we um, we can embrace the wealth and the knowledge that we will do good things with the abundance that flows into our life. So okay, doing pretty good here. It's 7.05, so let's go ahead and get started. 
uh, go ahead and if you're not already get yourself seated comfortably if you have a lot of chronic pain issues you can lay down as well uh, set your arms uh, hands either cupped in your lap or on your knees and as always we're going to start the meditation with three super deep breaths if you haven't been here before that just means you're going to do three breaths where you follow that breath all the way down from nostrils to diaphragm inhaling as deeply as you can you know hold a moment and then you're gonna exhale as fully as you possibly can you're doing this at your own pace just nice and slow and you're gonna do that for three breaths when you get to the end of that three breaths, because everyone's going to run a little bit different timing, just start to go back into your own normal flow of your breath and just watch that path from your nostrils to your diaphragm and back out. I want you to bring to mind, envision your heart chakra as a green ball of light right in the center of your chest at the level of your heart. Now green is associated with the heart chakra which ties it in to love and acceptance. Green also ties into money and abundance. And often it's hard for us to marry those two ideas, but they both live right here in our chest. You deserve love. You deserve abundance. So sit and picture this green ball of light, your heart chakra energy. Just pulsing as you breathe, getting a little bigger when you inhale, getting a little bigger when you smaller when you exhale. Now, I want you to picture yourself sitting inside of this green ball of light, this heart chakra energy. Just visualize yourself, picture yourself sitting in the middle of this green ball of light. It's almost like it's a little room. And you're just surrounded by this green light tapping into the love, tapping into the abundance and the wealth. And now, in your mind's eye as you sit in this green ball of light, I want you to picture holding your hands out in front of you. And I want you to, in your mind's eye, just see a $20 bill materialize in your hands. And just picture this, picture this $20 bill sitting in your hands. And just think of how grateful you are that came to you so easily. It's just sitting there. All you had to do was wish it into being. And well, it may seem like it's easy to do this in our mind's eye, not so easy in the real world. In truth, the real world works on the same principles. 
money flows to you freely and easily. Go ahead and allow the visualization of the $20 bill to fade away, or you can stick it in your metaphysical pocket if that appeals to you. Now sitting in your green ball of heart chakra energy, I want you to picture this little round room filling with all sorts of paper money. Whatever denominations you want. There's tons of money just flowing in, swirling around you, not congesting you or anything, but just swirling around you like a gentle a gentle breeze. And I want you to just Close your eyes in your mind's eye and feel this money flitting against your skin. And I want you to think, when I have enough money, I am going to do this with my life. For me, it's travel. Whatever comes to mind, just tuck that knowledge away for the time being and enjoy the soft feeling of the money floating around you. It's almost like butterfly wings. <clears throat> and again, I want you to let the knowledge sink in deep into your knowing. Money flows to you freely and easily. Go ahead and let the floating money fade away from existence. And just bring your awareness back to this green energy filling up this little globe. Love and abundance. Everything you desire for your highest good can flow easily into your existence. Allow it to sink in. Feel it as you inhale. Feel it as you exhale. Now relax your awareness back to where you're just watching that heart chakra energy in your chest again, being aware of your own chest. And again. Relax your awareness back into watching the trail of your breath, nostrils to throat to chest to diaphragm, uh, all the way back out. <clears throat> and begin to bring your awareness back to the room around you. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and when you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Okay guys, now towards the end of that meditation, I had you think about something you would do if money was not an object. Um, for sake of example, I said that mine was travel. So I want you to take whatever yours was. And I want you to think of how you can move in that direction now. How you can make that a higher priority in your life now. So for travel, a lot of it is just do it. You know, for me, um, my husband and I have been talking about how we need to just plan family vacations and just make it happen. <laughs> so, um, 
that is, uh, that's something to really get into because you can have whatever you want right now. You can manifest it. You can tune in. You can set that intention and you can make it happen. Um, I'm so glad you guys liked it. Yay. A great thing to do. If you feel like, if you feel like you have a really, really, really damaged relationship with money, uh, one thing you can do, uh, I was telling someone other, uh, someone this earlier today, um, in a counseling session, intuitive counseling session, um, to in the morning and make sure you're, if you're going to do this, make sure your bathroom mirror is really super clean. Just shine it up. So it's nice and sparkly clean. And in the morning, when you go into the bathroom, I want you to stand in front of the mirror and <laughs> Alicia, you're so funny. Um, I want you to stand in front of the mirror and I want you to put your hand on your heart and I want you to say money flows easily and freely to me or money flows freely and easily to me and just say that to yourself repeat it however many times feels powerful to you um, just kind of tap in and figure out what number between one and ten feels really strong to you and just do that every morning it's a really powerful affirmation it can absolutely change your life and you just have to let it really sink in and let yourself believe it and allow your life to let it happen now, that being said, you can't just kick back and expect money to flow at you. You have to, part of it is when you, when you set that intention and you set that affirmation and everything, you'll, you'll get little nudges um, in your gut. You'll know, I need to do this. This would be a really good thing for me to do right now. And that's the sort of thing that just kind of allows that prosperity to flow into your life. So, um... I'm really excited for you all to work on this. Uh, money love, it's a great, great thing. We all need a lot of healing as a culture and society about money. So, all right, guys. I think um, the Russell Meditation Basics class is coming up this weekend. Uh, registration's kind of low right now. There's a slight chance it could be canceled if registration doesn't fill up so if you were thinking about signing up for it please go register for the Russell Meditation Basics class so that we can have it this weekend and um, if you haven't heard I kind of uh, mentioned it earlier but I am now offering professional intuitive counseling sessions and they're really fun so if you really feel stuck in one or many areas of your life and you need some guidance on how to get into your best life flow and get moving again, intuitive counseling is a great tool for that. So definitely check that out on my website. And oh, oh yes, I am getting myself on a schedule you guys. So I am going to be posting an article tomorrow and I'm going to start posting articles every two weeks so that you guys can actually expect them to come out instead of me just occasionally posting one here or there. So I have an article coming out tomorrow on mental hygiene and I'm really excited about that so uh, make sure to be on the lookout for that and if you're not signed up for my mailing list get signed up for that because I am going to start sending out bi-weekly emails to let people know like there's an article out and that sort of thing. Any other announcements that are going on so. Okay now I'm done. I hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful, wonderful rest of your evening and that it is very relaxed. Brightest blessings, y'all. Good night.